Hey guys, welcome to JMOF Pickup. Today we're going to talk about pain, okay? So I got my first tattoo, as you can see here, I'm still healing. I got this on Saturday, what's today? Monday night, so it's only been a couple days. Um, this is Thor's hammer, the Norwegian thunder god Thor. It's supposed to be the most powerful and fearsome weapon in all of mythology. It also has a nice little, where is it? Jamal insignia, all this still has to like heal and like peel and all this shit. And the colors are coming brighter, all the lightning is done with a blue outline with white in the middle. And the Jamal should stand out more, hopefully not too much, because I am a, a Googleable phrase at this point. A Googleable acronym. Um, so, anyways, this fucking hurt. Okay, there's much more painful spots you can get tattoo that hurt much more but you know I had told some fuck buddies like oh I'm gonna get a tattoo and you know a bunch of chicks have tattoos and they're like this is my first one and the, these chicks were like oh shit I had fucking cried for like the whole 20 minutes that I had mine or I had to make them stop after 30 minutes or whatever and this dude was like it's probably the tattoo artist she's like it's probably gonna take like five hours you know I found one of the one of the top artists and stuff like that it's probably gonna take five hours, like you could break it up in two sessions or three sessions, whatever. And I was like, all right, you know, I never had a tattoo before. I was like, let's just fucking go all the way through and be done with it. And uh, yeah, I fucking heard it. But the best way to describe it is it felt like uh, razor blades, kind of like slicing the skin. And But, you know, whatever. So it's, it's kind of like, the message I wanna kind of send in this video with some of these examples is sometimes shit is like fucking tough and you want to give up. That's what kind of gave me this idea in this video. But you just fucking push through it and you come out on the other side and everything's fucking cool and you're, you're much better for it. You know, so I could have like stopped. There's a bunch of points where I was like, yeah, maybe I'll just stop. But I was like, no, fuck it. Like I want to just finish the design and have it all finished with shading and all that shit. Um, this also was my DJ name. That ha Thor's Hammer is called uh, Molnir. So this also is the name of my DJ alias when I was DJing. Um, anyways, yeah, my parents are horrified because they're very religious and straight-edge. But the shirt sleeve kind of like comes down to here, so it's mostly covered unless I'm wearing a tank top or shirtless. And I'm gonna continue to keep lifting with Sunny. Um, I'm only about seven weeks in. Um, actually, I think this is the start of the eighth week. But anyways, moving on to the next example. Um, for those of you that follow me, you know I do Muay Thai kickboxing. Okay, so I'm doing that currently three times a week. And, you know, sometimes there's drills where you're just getting fucking barraged with punches, you know, by big people that can punch well. In the stomach, you're taking fucking knees and elbows to the head. Um, you're getting kicks in the side, kicks in the leg, you know. And my old instructor in Puerto Rico, he always used to say, what can anyone really do to me like in a fight, right? They can punch me, they can beat, beat me a whole bunch, but then I'm gonna get inside and I'm gonna do a lot more damage to them, right? And this isn't about like fucking being a badass and like handling physical pain and all that stuff. Um, I'm just giving some physical pain examples and I'm gonna show you how this translates into um, a whole bunch of other areas in life, okay? So in Muay Thai, like you're fucking getting hit and all that shit, but it, it kind of feels, you know, makes you feel more like alive and shit like that, right? You're just like, you know, I'm getting fucking hit, but you know, I'm alive, everything's fucking cool. It's not a big deal, right? It kind of like toughens you up. Um, also with working out, right? Doing chest press, doing overhead press, whatever. You get to like, for those of you that have ever fucking lifted weights, you get to the, the rep where you're like, fuck, and you almost can't get it all the way up to the top, right? And at that point, you can give up or you can like regroup and fucking go for like one or two more reps and that's where a lot of your gains are going to come from when your muscle is totally fatigued and you're pushing out additional reps of course with proper form so you're not getting injured that's another example um so these are kind of like little micro examples on a more macro scale in terms of being successful at business in terms of being successful at pickup in terms of being successful at anything um you know going back to the workout example there's plenty of days where I'm like, fuck, I don't want to go to the gym today, right? But I do it because I'm striving towards this goal of getting bigger and stronger. There's nights where I didn't want to go out 
to do game, right? But I had this goal, I wanna be the best at this, I wanna get really, really good at this, I wanna to get to a high ex level of expertise. So, you know, I was going through periods where sometimes when I had a full-time job, an office job, where I was only getting like two or three hours of sleep, right, or I'd pull an all-nighter, because I put game as a priority, okay? That wasn't necessarily the best move, right? Like I got fired from a few different jobs. I have my own company now, it all worked out fine, but, that happened because, you know, I was doing whatever it took to keep advancing. Um, I'm trying to think what else. So, when you start to do something, right, like, I posted a picture from January 1st where I was like 195 pounds, right? Now, I'm, I just weighed in this morning at 119 and a, or sorry, 219 and a half. So that's, I'm up almost 25 pounds, right? Like I'm teetering, weight fluctuates a little bit day to day, but I'm up about 25 pounds in less than two months, okay? And I, it's because I'm, I'm eating all the meals I'm supposed to, I'm drinking all the water I'm supposed to, I'm, I haven't missed one lifting workout. Um, I'm pushing for those extra reps. I'm, you know, monitoring, tracking, et cetera, et cetera. The same thing with game, right? Monitoring how much am I going out, how much am I closing over time, how many am I closing per year, all this stuff, where are the weak spots where I can improve, and this is how you fucking master things. When I want to get good at business, I sought out the top experts in affiliate marketing because it allows you to work from home and travel and so on and so forth. And then it was a matter of picking their brains, going on the forums, um, figuring out how this whole process worked, going to the conferences, meeting more contacts, partnering with them on stuff, expanding, expanding, expanding. And that's how you master anything. You have to fucking, and that shit's not easy. Right? If it was easy, everyone would be a millionaire. If it was easy, everyone would be fucking jacked at the gym. If it was easy, if game, if mastering game was easy, everyone would be a fucking master, okay? But most people are broke, most people are out of shape, and most people, um, you know, would fucking quit the tattoo or fucking quit, skip the workouts, fuck their whole diet over, right? Like, um, half-assed trying to learn business, half-assed trying to learn pickup, and the vast majority of people out there fall into this like mediocre, mediocre like kind of purgatory or you know even much worse this kind of like stagnation and like despair and like you know there's plenty of guys that are like man I want, I want the basic version of your product which costs $297 and they're like I don't think I'll have that money for months like or, or even maybe the whole year I went you know so there's plenty of people living in this, and that's not even very much money at all. So that you have these people living in this perpetual broke state, but they'll spend 10 hours a day on social media, right? I'm not gonna go into lecturing about how people should be spending their time, but this shit, if you wanna master business, you gotta fucking put in the work, the blood, sweat, and tears. If you wanna master game, you gotta put in the blood, sweat, and tears. If you wanna master martial arts, blood, sweat, and tears, okay? You're gonna have to fucking take a whole bunch of punches. You're gonna have to fucking climb your way up the ladder. And all this stuff builds character. Um, the gym builds character, it builds fucking strength, it builds health, it builds confidence, all this stuff, right? I was missing that part for a long time. I'm not afraid to, to say it. You know, I had made half-assed attempts at the gym. I finally got serious about it, and that's why Sonny and I are hanging out all the time now, and he's really guiding me along and helping me get that all in order, right? He's been a good friend for six years now, um, that part was missing. I'm getting looks from chicks now, not even that big yet, right? So now it's gonna make game even easier, right? Um, I'm gonna go through and redo all my Tinder pictures again. I had a pretty good Tinder profile. I'm gonna go through and redo, redo all those again, like take it to the next level again, get even better shots and cooler environments and that kind of stuff. So I guess the takeaway here is always be pushing yourself to be the best, okay? Push yourself to get big in the gym. Don't fucking half-ass it. Push, your, push yourself to get rich in business, okay? Push yourself to be one of the very select, you know, small quantity of elite guys in pickup, okay? You can, most of you can get there. Some of you, it's a long shot, but for most of you, you can get there, okay? Um, just stop half-assing stuff. Everyone's half-assing everything, okay? And, and like I said, I'm not gonna get a lecture about where people are allocating their time, but I know for a fact, like, because I've seen statistics, and I know what people do, they're, you're fucking texting, you're fucking Instagram, Snapchat, 
Twitter, random internet sites, Facebook newsfeed, that's, that's just a time sink. Even I even have to fucking check myself on that shit a lot of times. All right, so there's much more to say about this topic. Push through, fucking force yourself to be the best. Don't settle for mediocrity. Force yourself through that pain. Oh, even with rejections and stuff in the club, like talking about emotional resilience, like you're gonna have to take a whole bunch of fucking bullshit. Chicks are gonna call you ugly, like asshole, like shithead, like whatever. And they're just gonna fucking shit all over you. And you're gonna have to push through that and fucking deal with those rejections and still come back stronger, okay? So, fucking push through that shit. Be awesome, be great. Thank you guys for tuning in.